Today we are going to have a look once again at one of your favorite parts in your Cambridge exam, speaking. Now imagine this, you're about to step into the exam room, but instead of feeling nervous, you're full of confidence because you've mastered the essential tips I'm about to share with you today. I've got you covered with not just one or two, but five useful tips that form the foundation of effective speaking. So if you are ready, let's do it. Hi and welcome to Teacher Phil, where I help people like you pass their Cambridge exam. Let's get right into tip number one. One of the most important things when it comes to your speaking, pronunciation. Now, no matter if you prepare for A2 or for C2, Pronunciation is really, really important. But here's the thing, depending on your own language background, you have to face unique challenges when it comes to pronunciation, don't you? And just like you, I'm not a native speaker, so I know exactly how you feel. But as you can see, I got my pronunciation to a higher level as well. So trust me, you can do the same. It is all about identifying those specific sounds that cause you problems and then you can work on them. So now you might ask, how can I do this? And I would say the easiest way is to record yourself speaking and then compare yourself to native speakers. Trust me, the difference might surprise you. I used to read song lyrics and then compare myself to the original. And trust me, I felt like a pretty big idiot doing it. But guess what? It did help me a lot. Apart from that, there are tons of online resources and also some very good language learning apps where you can um, improve your pronunciation step by step. So, ready to sound like a native speaker? Just record yourself and start improving. Expressing yourself confidently and clearly is another crucial aspect to your success in the speaking exam and vocabulary is your golden ticket to achieving that. But here's the kicker. Vocabulary is not just about memorizing random words. It is really about building your range with synonyms, antonyms and for example idiomatic expressions. Why? Because variety is what makes the examiners happy and what makes your marks go up. To improve your vocabulary really quickly, you can use either frequency lists or topical vocabulary lists. Frequency lists show you the most common words in a language, while topical vocabulary lists talk about a specific topic. So you can pick and choose the things that you are interested in in English. For example, family, your home, hobbies, things like that. And then really in a targeted way, try to learn new vocabulary. So my recommendation here is that you take the words that you want to learn and put them into a spaced repetition system where you can create flashcards and that way study in a very effective and efficient way. Spaced repetition is a really powerful tool but perhaps a little bit too complex for this video here. But if you want me to make a video that talks specifically about spaced repetition systems and how to use them, then just uh, let me know in the comment section below and I will create one for you. Next up, fluency, the heart and soul of good communication. Have you ever tried to participate in a conversation in English and the words just wouldn't come out of your mouth? Yeah, that's exactly what you need to improve. So how can we become more fluent then? Well, the answer is not really sexy and you might not like it, but it is very simple. Practice, practice and more practice. Engage in English conversations with English speaking friends, uh, online or in English classes. Nowadays, you can find a lot of opportunities on the internet but of course, it is always difficult to know if the quality is good or if it is the right fit for you. But luckily, you already know me. So if you want me to be your teacher, you can book a class with me right now. And the best thing, for exactly one week from the release of this video, 
you can get a 40% discount on your first speaking class with me. Simply follow the link in the description below and use the code SPEAKING40 at checkout. Because the more you immerse yourself in English, the more you can improve. So don't miss the opportunity to talk to me and to become a better English speaker. Now let's move on to the next tip. Organizing your ideas effectively. Every good answer in your speaking exam should address the problem and then give some additional information so that the listener, in that case the examiner or the other candidate, can follow your ideas easily. So how can you do that? Always think of some questions that you could ask yourself. Words like what, who, where, when, why and how are a really good starting point. You can use these questions not only to organize your own ideas, but also to ask the other candidates some questions during the collaborative parts of the exam. Simply practice by asking yourself some questions and then answer them fully. And where can you get questions from? Nowadays with AI tools, you can just ask them for some questions. Just write, for example, I'm studying English at B2 level, for example, and want to practice speaking. Generate 10 discussion questions about different topics at this level. And then you can always ask for more questions and keep working on and improving your organizational skills. And that's it. Okay, and right on to the next tip, time management. Many candidates in Cambridge exams struggle a little bit because they give either answers that are too long or perhaps too short. Don't be one of those people. Do it the right way and impress your examiners. Make sure that you know how long your exam takes and how much time is needed for each of the parts in your exam. Then practice in an exam style and see how long your answers are. Are they too short? Are they too long? Or are they just right? You can watch example speaking tests online and see where the candidates do well and where they might be wasting some time. Work with a friend, a family member or a teacher to get feedback on your own progress and your own timing. Because others can often see the positives as well as the negatives that we ourselves don't notice. Now that you know what you can do to improve your speaking skills and pass your test, you might want to see some real candidates trying to pass the exam so that you can learn the little secrets of what you need to do to get the highest marks possible. So simply check out this video here where I explain all of that to you. Now we'll see you over there in a second.